In this video, I'm going to take you through a simple and easy to follow worked example that will show you how you can find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a simple two by two matrix. Now, the first step is to understand what we're actually doing here. The thing that we are solving is the equation AX equals lambda X. A is our matrix, X is our eigenvectors, and lambda is our eigenvalues. So we've got some matrix multiplied by a vector, which is the eigenvector, is equal to some special value called an eigenvalue multiplied by that same eigenvector. And we need to find the special values of lambda for which this is true. And then once we've got that, we can find the corresponding vectors that match up with that eigenvalue. So let's start by solving this. The first step is to get something that we can actually work with. So let's subtract lambda x from both sides. And we get this expression here. We can obviously take a factor of the x and we get this expression. If we're interested in x being non-zero, we simply have to find the determinant of a minus lambda i, and that's going to obviously be equal to zero. Now, what we need to do is actually find a minus lambda i, and so we can set that up here. We're just taking our matrix A and minusing lambda multiplied by that identity matrix, which is just a matrix with ones in the leading diagonal and then zeros everywhere else. So we can just simply do that. So six minus lambda, and then we've got down here, the one minus lambda gives us this. And then because we've got zeros in those elements, the off diagonal elements are not going to be changed. We then need to find the determinant of this. And finding the determinant of a two by two matrix is very simple. We simply take the six minus lambda, multiply it by the one minus lambda, and then subtract minus two times by the three. So we get this expression here. And you should, of course, by now be able to multiply things out very easily. So I'm not going to focus on giving a lot of description to these steps. So we'd simply multiply that out and then just rearrange it a little bit to get a nice polynomial characteristic equation. So this is called the characteristic equation. And the solutions to this equation are your eigenvalues. You can solve it with the quadratic formula. Or if it's nice and simple like this, we can simply factorize. So we factorize it. And then we're just simply solving that very simple equation. We want each of the brackets to be zero. And the first eigenvalue that does that is three. And then for the second bracket, we get an eigenvalue of four. We now have our eigenvalues. We don't, however, have any of the eigenvectors. And in this example, we're going to find an eigenvector for each eigenvalue, though, of course, you could continue finding very large numbers of these. So let's look now at how we find the eigenvectors. So here we've got our matrix and we've got the eigenvalues that we just found. We're going to divide this up and do it for both of them. So remember this problem that we've got originally. So we've got a minus lambda i in brackets multiplied by x equals zero. This is going to be the basis of what we're going to do. And we need to find a minus lambda i for the case that lambda is three and a minus lambda i for the case that lambda is 4. And this will give us two things to work with. So let's divide it up. We're going to do the calculation for lambda is 3, substituting into that equation. And then we'll do it for lambda 2, which equals 4, substitute that in and do the same thing. So we simply find a minus 3i, so 3 being our eigenvalue that we've just substituted. Some very simple maths. We get a new matrix. We need to Let's multiply that by x. So x is our eigen um, value, vector rather, eigen vector. So we've got our matrix that we just worked out, a minus 3i, multiplied by the eigen vector. And of course, this is going to give the same equation twice because the top row and the second row is the same. So matrix multiplication, 3 times x1 minus 2 times x2, and that equals 0. Now, this equation has an enormous and number of solutions. You can just keep finding them over and over and over again. We're just interested in finding one example eigenvector. So what we can just do is come up with some value for one of the x's and then find what the corresponding one is, and then we would get an eigenvector. So let's say let x2 equal 3, substitute that in, rearrange it, and you would get a corresponding value for x1, and therefore one possible eigenvector might be 3, 2. You could, of course, try different values of x2, and you could get all sorts of different values, and they would be other eigen 
vectors. We then do the same thing for uh, lambda 2 equals 4. So we, instead of doing 3i, we're doing 4i. Simply complete that subtraction, you get a matrix. We're going to multiply that by x1, x2. That's going to be our holding place for an example eigenvector. And in this case, we get two different equations. And we would simply come up with solutions to this equation. So it's quite easy to see that 1, 1 is going to be an eigenvector. 2 times 1 minus 2, 3 times 1 minus 3, both of those give 0. And so you could get all those combinations of eigenvectors from that. So hopefully this has shown you a nice, simple, easy to follow method that allows you to find eigenvectors and eigenvalues. You can check out my other videos on linear algebra if this was helpful to you. And finally, thank you very much for watching.